on today's edition of Situational Holy Grail, we have this Fasco Charleston here. Finally got a Fasco. I've been looking for a Fasco ever since I started collecting, ever since I was interested in fans. And what you don't see behind the scenes is the five or six that I've, uh, that I've lost out on in the past. And I finally have one, and it just so happens to be probably my favorite of all the ones I've seen. It is a third generation Charleston, as evident by the canopy. Obviously, you can't see the Switch housing cover because it came with the original Fasco light kit. If you go into, like, the, I want to say it's the 89 catalog, you'll see this light kit in there. It's got the original amber tinted ribbed glass. And one thing I'm very disappointed by, though, is that for some reason the finishes don't match perfectly. The antique brasses don't. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's tarnished. This fan was installed on a three-season porch. But what surprises me is minimal wobble. This is the most wobbly it gets here on medium speed. Um, is I mean, there's a little bit of tarnish on the light kit and a little bit on the top. But it's not bad. It's in great shape. The blades are fine. It's definitely not mint condition. But... I couldn't complain about it, and it runs really good. This is the medium speed, as we know with Fasco's. They definitely went more aesthetic, but that doesn't mean they're weak. Nope, they're very strong. The medium and low are usually rather slow, and uh, I believe a lot of collectors like them because it's sort of the restaurant low sort of thing going on with these. And then high speed is just full-on power. This does obviously have the drop flywheel and the, uh, the Fasco K55 stack type motor. I know Fasco did the, use their own motors in these fans. It is from 1987, I believe. And yeah, there it is from the side. As you can see, the blades do have that upward tilt going on. Fairly long down rod. I tried to take it off, but it's stuck. So for now, I'm just going to keep this one on it. It's fine. I like it anyways. It's a very nice fan. I'm so happy to finally have one. Charleston's are by far my favorite, so... Yeah, that's good. And these fans are very rare here in Minnesota. Now, where they're super common is like in Florida, some like some spots, I believe, on the East Coast. And, uh, but east of the Mississippi, though, they're definitely a lot more common, I hear. So I'm so glad I finally did get one. I actually think I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Actually, I'll throw the light on really quick if you want to see that. I don't usually show it in too many lighting and fan configurations i save that for the demos but it gives you a bit of a better look at the fan though and of course there are demos available of all my ceiling fans some are uploaded and some can be uploaded if you want i do have a list so if you wanted to see anything like off of the shelf or anything just let me know anyways so uh oh it's the wrong side there's just an information tag the the blade sticker uh there's one sticker on one of the arms sort of coming off probably from the damp rag but it need to be done this fan the blades are kind of yucky still have some improvements to do once it comes apart but anyways yeah, there's the banana i haven't packed that up yet but um oh i don't know i don't think i've mentioned it but this fan uses a skeletal motor did figure that out thanks to dan so yeah it's a skeletal but anyways let's go up here and look at the tag i believe it's, it's 87 or 88 nope it's 87 um, November of 87, or no, oh, November, what the hell am I saying? Uh, August of 87, so actually, uh, so it's actually turning, well, let's see, 87, so that'd be three years, I think it's like, I want to say like 35 years old this month, something like that, so yeah, it's around 35 years old, and it does have a birthday sometime this month, of course, they don't give the exact date, but close enough, but yeah, I'm so happy to have this fan, and I really do love Charleston's. They are really beautiful, and um, and one thing I can guarantee you is that if I see any more, they're definitely going to be coming home with me, because I love these fans so much. They just look so good. I absolutely love them, and I'm so happy to have one in good condition, too. But anyways, I think I've talked enough here. I've showed you all I've got. No new catalogs or anything. I might have some Hinkley's on the way. I'm pretty sure I do by now, though. And, um, yeah, I believe the one brand that right now I'm not sure when I'm going to get is Modern Forms. There's not a whole lot of those catalogs around right now. Luckily, local stores save them for me, so it's going to be okay. I'll end up with it eventually. But that one might take some time. 
progress. I've just got to hear back from the rep. I should be getting that. And then I believe that's practically everything that I'm missing. So I've got most of the stuff and the rest will be coming pretty soon. But anyways, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. And I hope you like this fan. I certainly do. It's it's now my favorite. I literally said that about the banana. But of course, Charleston's are probably like in my all-time favorite fan category. So I'm very happy to finally have one. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.